What's up everyone, it's Chell Bell here, and today I will be showing you Pop Smoke's merch. Now before we get started, I just want to say, rest in peace to Bashar Jackson, also known as Pop Smoke, who was only 20 years old when he was killed. The late rapper from Brooklyn was on his way to fame. The saddest part is that his success ultimately got him killed. So in this video, we're going to honor him, and we're going to continue his legacy by listening to his music and rocking his merch. Now the first couple pieces I'm gonna show you guys was merch that just dropped right before he passed. When his second album dropped, he released his first official merch, which was a collab with Velo. Now even though this merch came out during his second album, all the references to the merch was inspired by his first album. So the first thing we have are these V-Loan bandanas. I wanted to pick these up because number one, they were the cheapest thing on the website. And also, they were like the only accessories at the time. Like there was a lot of hoodies and t-shirts, but every merch drop always has hoodies and t-shirts. So I always like to go for accessories, something that's a little different. And I just thought these are really cool, maybe like to hang on a wall or something. I mean, it's a bandana. I probably wouldn't wear this as a bandana, but more of just hanging it on a wall. So it's only on one side. You see the other side's kind of blank. And it just, it's a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge where he's from Brooklyn. And it just says Pop Smoke on it. I like the little details on here, like the purple hues. And this is made by V-Loan. Even though there's no V-Loan branding on this actual bandana. The next bandana we have here is it says Armed and Dangerous, which is a song from his first album. So like like I said previously, this merch came out when his second album dropped, but all the references were from his first album. So it just says Smoke in the Middle. It has like a Rolls Royce. And it says Armed and Dangerous. And you see that blue paisley print all over it. But they'd be cool to just hang on your walls. Like kind of use them as like posters is what I thought. And they were the cheapest thing on the website, so I just figured I might as well grab both of them. The next thing we're going to take a look at is this V-Loan hoodie. This is similar to that first bandana I showed you with the Brooklyn Bridge. So, it just says Pop Smoke. And you could see, it's the same graphic from the bandana I just showed you, where it's the Brooklyn Bridge. And it's like this purplish blue sky, which I think is a nice touch. And then on the back, you just have the same graphic again. It just says V-Loan. You got the Brooklyn Bridge right there. Quality on this, I would say it's this is a pretty thin hoodie. It's not the greatest quality. And I think a lot of people complained about that. Is like V-Loan is known for good quality. And whenever they do merch, it's like they get a little cheaper. I think a lot of brands do this. They want to keep their official clothing always a little bit better. But I think it also has to do with the retail prices. Like, v -Loan clothing is very expensive. And when they do merch collabs, they try to make it a little more affordable. So the prices are cheaper, which leads to the quality of the clothes being cheaper as well. So, you know, it comes with the price, you know. The hoodie's not terrible quality. It's just like a, a throw-on hoodie. I will say his first merch with the v -Loan drop was probably the best. I would have bought more of that drop. It was just so expensive that I could only, you know, it was either buy two shirts or buy one hoodie. So I went with the hoodie and the bandanas, but you had other shirts in that drop, which was like, it said Holcomb on it, which is another reference to his first album. So that's what you see in a lot of this merch. It's not just random words on shirts. Like these words reference songs that he made. A few days after his first V-Loan drop, he dropped two more t-shirts on his website, one in white and one in black, and it just says, King of New York. Now, I know some of the OG New Yorkers are going to get offended by this and say, how can you call him King of New York when you have people like Biggie, Nas, and Jay-Z? But let me just say this. New York is a big place, and there could be more than one king. I think this is great homage to him, um, just honoring him and... This kind of represents the direction that he was going, you know. I do think he was going to be one of the biggest rappers in the game in the next year or so. 
And just his last album proved that when he passed, that album they dropped wasn't supposed to come out. They were just all the unreleased songs. So they figured since he passed, they might as well just drop all the songs. And there was a lot of good songs. Proves to you that he was really on his way to success. And I also think this King of New York isn't just a random reference. This is, uh, he says this in one of his songs. I can't remember the song, but in one of the songs he says King of New York. So that's another reference to one of his songs. There was also a black one, but I just like the way that the blue popped on the white. I just thought it was a good contrast. Now that merch dropped in early February and then he passed two weeks later. So the next merch I'm about to show you is a little more controversial because it came out after he passed away. This is the infamous Virgil Abloh design t-shirt, Stop the Violence. Now this was originally supposed to be the album cover of his last album, but he got so much hate from fans that they had to take it down and change the album cover. I kind of understand. Critics were saying it was it was very lazy. Um, I can understand it. I think what Virgil was trying to go for is like, you know those old memorial shirts are air sprayed and says like rest in peace. I think that's like the vibe he was going for and that's the vibe I got on it. Now, I didn't like this on an album cover, but I think it looks a lot better on a t-shirt. Like I think it was meant to be for a t-shirt. But I gotta admit, I'm disappointed with this t-shirt a lot this looks nothing like the mock-ups we saw so the mock-up was an actual photo of him this is like some digital animation and honestly i don't like this shirt at all on the back it just says it just says shoot for the stars aim for the moon on the front it just says stop the violence but like I said, I'm really disappointed in this t-shirt. The quality is not that good either. Like this, all of this merch is just, I will admit, it's just basic quality. Like very thin cotton material, nothing crazy at all. Honestly, I think people expect too much Travis Scott or Pop Smoke merch. I think people expect the quality to be a lot higher. Even at a concert, like the merch is never that good of quality. You know what I mean? But I understand where people are coming from because these companies do charge a high price for it and you're just paying for the name. You're paying this high price and it's not like a premium quality. So I understand why people get upset about it. And now that shirt's like infamous. I don't know. I think it, it's still like a good collector's piece because of how much hate it had. The last shirt I want to show you guys is another v -Lone. And it just says The Woo on it, which is a song. It's a nickname of Pop Smoke and it's also a song on his latest album. I just like the blue rose. Passwork signature color was blue. So I think it's a nice touch that they put that little rose on it. And then my favorite part was the back. How it just has the velo in it and the roses. Once again, like this material is not that great. I'll just tell you right now, Travis Scott's merch is better quality than this. They have said on record that the money that they made off this merch was going to be donated to the Shoot for the Stars and Aim for the Moon Foundation which was founded by Pop Smoke. It's a foundation to help fund urban schools so that they could get the books and the technology they need to learn. And now that foundation is ran by his mother. And it even says on all these shirts that I just showed you, it says on this tag, this is copyrighted by the estate of Bashar Jackson. So that just shows you that this money is going towards his family or his estate, whoever was in his will, this money will be going to. Well, let me know what you guys think about the merch. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Don't forget to leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.